Is solar now cheaper than coal in India? Well, Union Minister for New and Renewable Energy, Mr. Pralad Joshi, has recently announced that India's renewable energy sector witnessed a remarkable 420% year-on-year surge in capacity addition in June 2025. According to the Union Minister, India has witnessed an astonishing 4,000% increase in solar energy capacity. It grew from 2.82 gigawatts to 117 gigawatts by 2025. Not only this, India has also achieved 50% non-fossil fuel capacity five years ahead of the 2030 target, which means that India's total installed power capacity now stands at 484.8 gigawatts with 242.8 gigawatts coming from non-fossil fuel sources. For the unversed, non-fossil fuel sources are basically energy sources that don't come from coal, oil or natural gas. These include solar, wind, hydro, nuclear and biomass, all cleaner and more sustainable for the environment. So what is driving this boom in India's renewables? What are India's renewables energy targets? And is solar now cheaper than coal? Let's discuss in this episode of India on the Rise. Since 2020, India's renewable energy sector has attracted foreign direct investment of over 1.6 lakh crore rupees. In 2023 alone, FDI worth 42,000 crore rupees flowed into the sector, highlighting its growing appeal among global investors. Now, this trend reflects a steady rise in international interest and long-term confidence in India's clean energy landscape. Another reason behind the surge in the sector is cheaper solar tariffs. Solar tariffs in India have seen a sharp decline, dropping by nearly 80% over the past decade. Back in 2010-11, solar power cost around 10.95 rupees per unit. Today, the number has fallen to just 2.15 rupees per unit. Thanks to this drop, even solar power with battery storage is now cheaper than thermal energy. In 2024, the shift was clearly reflected in investment patterns, with 83% of total power sector investments going to renewables. India also emerged as the largest recipient of global energy development finance, securing $2.4 billion for clean energy in just one year. The Union Minister also highlighted the example of India's large waste-to-energy plant in Ahmedabad, which processes 1,000 tons of solid waste every day to generate electricity. He said such initiatives show that India's energy transition is not just sustainable but also inclusive, creating benefits for cities, farmers and local communities alike. The government says that renewable energy now leads the way in new power investments across the country. According to officials, this shift is helping make India's energy transition not just cheaper, and cleaner but also more inclusive, bringing benefits to millions of people across regions and income groups. As one of the world's fastest growing economies, India has laid out ambitious energy goals to secure its future. The focus is on ensuring energy security, improving environmental health and fulfilling its global climate commitments under the Paris Agreement. This includes a target of achieving 500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030 and reaching net zero carbon emissions by 2070. India's wind energy capacity also rose from 21 gigawatts to 51.7 gigawatts in 2025, marking a 140% increase. So while India moves ahead with its renewable energy targets, what is your opinion on India's rise in the sector? Share with us in the comment section below. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.